Um, warm greetings from Slovenia. My name is Alenka Tomas. Um, I come from the Institute of Archaeology and Heritage of University of Primorsk, and today I will speak about the interactions uh, between um, North uh, Eastern Adriatic Sea and the continental part of Slovenia. Um, uh, at the beginning, let me say a few introductionary words um, about Neolithic and Neolithic studies. Um, both of them have very long tradition uh, uh, and their initial stages, they are closely associated with pile dwelling discoveries um, at uh, Ljubljana Marshes in 1875. And during this long history of research, uh, much has been done regarding uh, the understanding of the Neolithic and Neolithic period uh, in present day Slovenian territory. However, there are still questions that puzzle uh, researchers uh, today. One of them is associated with the connection between continental Slovenia and the northeastern Adriatic coast. Uh, namely, during uh, this relatively long, long history of research, individual researchers uh, saw different correlation in material cultures uh, of both region. One uh, of the first researchers who proved through material remains that um, several sites in continental part of Slovenia, um, um, in continental part of Slovenia, uh, can be attributed to the late Neolithic period was Josip Koroshec. Uh, he conducted also several um, most important excavation uh, in the continental part of Slovenia as well as Adriatic uh, Adriat Sea. And his view was uh, that um, actually the, the um, sites in central Slovenia can be attributed to the late Neolithic. Uh, and are strongly culturally connected to the um, Dalmatian coast. Um, quite the opposite was the view, uh, the view of um, Professor Stan Dimitrievic, who, um, who, who thought that these central uh, Slovenian sites are actually um, analytic sites and can be more culturally connected to um, Pannonian Plain and the, the, the central uh, Europe. Um, and this long-lasting debate of several decades um, of whether Neolithic settlers in continental Slovenia had any cultural inter interaction uh, with contemporary settlers and at East and North Adriatic coast or not uh, was based uh, on a relatively small number of Neolithic finds uh, understood within traditional concepts of under the umbrella of cultural history where every aspect of the study was um, concerned with stylistical an analysis and classification. Eventually, however, and with the advancing knowledge on late Neolithic material culture in a broader region, it became clear that similarities in material culture uh, noticed by these early researchers were traits that can be noticed in material culture of many late Neolithic cultural groups, not only in these two regions. And also the analogies that were uh, used as a proof of cultural connection between Danilo sites in Dalmatia um, and uh, um, have a, a huge discrepancy of more than 500 years uh, with sites of continental Slovenia. So nowadays these analogies uh, with uh, all new data and the fairly good radiocarbon uh, chronology cannot be taken as relevant anymore. Um, um, Mm, all accumulated data uh, regarding um, uh, regarding um, regarding this um, mm, um, mm, this um, topic um, uh, of both region indicates uh, that um, of the that the both region or, or the development in both region took um, um, in its own course are related to each other almost to the point that there are no traceable evidence of a mutual connection. Uh, this disconnection is all the more interesting because um, um, Slovenia is actually very small. Uh, the, the distance between the two regions is uh, around 100 kilometers. Um, uh, Slovenia is small, however, uh, it is topographically a diverse country made up of portion of four, four major European geographic landscape uh, one is um, European Alps, then the Dinaric cars uh, here, uh, and then Pannonian Plain in the east, and of course the Mediterranean um, to the west. Um, 
uh, and easily accessible mountain passes through Slovenia's present-day territory have long served as a route for those crossing from Mediterranean to the Pannonian Plain. Uh, but let us look uh, more, more closely to, the, um, to both regions. Um, so Eastern Adriatic coast um, uh, during uh, Neolithic has traditionally been subdivided into three periods, uh, early middle late of course, and uh, split into a number of archaeological cultures whose definition re uh, rests almost exclusive, exclusively on stylistic traits of pottery assemblages. Um, so first Neolithic communities have settled the Adriatic just before 6000 uh, calibrated BC in the southern Italy, uh, while eastern Adriatic regions were settled um, by first farmers a few decades later, according to available radiocarbon dates. Uh, in, the, in Dalmatia, first Neolithic settlements uh, are dated just soon after 6000 BC. A uh, few centuries later, um, in Istria, um, the first settlements, uh, Neolithic settlements, are, are documented around 5700 BC and uh, in Friuli Plain here a uh, hundred years later. Uh, the interpretation of Neolithization of Western Slovenia has therefore played an important role in the history of research. Basically, there were two um, sorts of explanations. First one um, uh, uh, is directly connected um, or, or to, with the genesis of early Neolithic and Presocardium culture. Uh, while the second one um, is based on the proposition that in the process of Neolithization of East Adriatic coast, the coastal area of um, Slovenia territory and, and these uh, dinaric cars um, uh, were the last one in the process. Uh, so the Middle Neolithic Vlaška culture, which is correlated to the Dalmatian Danilo culture, is in fact understood um, uh, as the uh, as the third Neolithic uh, culture in that particular area. The beginning of the fifth millennium afterwards then is marked by another change in pottery style that affected the entire Adriatic uh, coast, namely Hvar culture, which, is represent, which represents the late Neolithic era. Uh, so the key sites um, in, uh, <clears throat> so this is this Western part with Vlaška culture, and this is the central part of Slovenia, which I'll be talking a little bit uh, later. Uh, so uh, the key sites in Western Slovenia are Trhlovca, Mala, Triglauca, Podmolner, Kastelec, Inaceus, Podmol, uh, uh, also Sermin. The first four are located in the Kars Plateau, while the latest is situated on the hilltop of the Adriatic Sea. Uh, it is also worth mentioning that the old sites in Kars Plateau are cave sites, uh, so all of our knowledge is in a way connected with this type of the site. Uh, we still know nothing about possible open air sites with the exception of Sermin, which is here, uh, just near the Adriatic coast. However, Sermin unfortunately cannot offer uh, any firm data since the stratigraphy of the site is not uh, good preserved or documented. So the material culture, um, and this is just a selection um, from this site is attributed to Vlaška group, uh, which was first uh, described by Lawrence Barfield a distribution um, is strongly associated with the distribution of certain vessel type uh, amongst others, the two leaf shaped types um, like this, um, uh, or spherical balls with ornamented with incised triangles, etc. These types of vessels are for the most part uh, found in the caves along the karst uh, region, mostly on uh, Italian sides, but uh, side of the border, but also on Slovenian. Um, uh, there are also some other uh, type of pottery, such as a, a right on, uh, this is just its handle, uh, which are strongly connected with the Dalmatian um, coast. Um, Macroscopic analysis of the pottery from Triglauza and Malat um, uh, and Terhlauza showed that basic characteristic of Neolithic pottery in this territory um, is of uh, uh, original origin. So it's not, um, uh, uh, the pottery did not come uh, from uh, anywhere else, and um, so uh, we can uh, we can uh, state the ceramic was main, uh, mainly locally made. Uh, also, almost uh, all cave sites in Karst region produced the evidence of Neolithic occupancy. occupancy. However, uh, the stratigraphic uh, sequence as well as uh, as their interpretation were rarely elaborated in uh, um, detail. A uh, completely uh, different is a uh, picture in uh, the continental part of Slovenia. 
Um, so from, from the discovery of Ljubljana Marsh pile dwellings in 1875, as already mentioned onwards, quite numerous Neolithic and Neolithic sites were discovered and excavated in continental part of Slovenia. Uh, and equally interesting and stimula stimulating was, was also the debate concerning uh, their interpretation. Uh, the most recent proposal ma was made in 2005 when new data allowed to produce a new interpretation on, on cultural attribution of the archaeological find from, finds from Neolithic sites of Central and Southeast Slovenia. Uh, known so far, the earliest farming communities in continental part of Slovenia arose as late as at the beginning of the fifth millennium and lasted till 4,300 uh, calibrated BC. Uh, course covering the period of a late Neolithic, so we don't have uh, anything um, earlier uh, than that. Um, uh, the ev um, evident concentration of sites along the Sava River Valley, which is this um, uh, river, um, um, uh, was a, a good argument to, may, uh, to, to name this uh, late Neolithic phenomenon uh, as the Sava group of Lengel culture. Um, so this group mainly includes open air sites uh, on the river banks of Sava River and its tributaries. Uh, some of the settlements have showed also elaborate circular uh, plan, uh, site plan, uh, while some others were organized as gatherings of individual small farmsteads. Uh, relatively infrequent remains of house structures indicate that houses were par partially dug in and uh, their above ground part has been made of light wood construction. Um, um, the material cultures from all these sites has very similar characteristics, both in ceramic uh, assemblages and stone tools. The similarities are so close that they are, do validate their grouping into a single cultural phenomenon. Uh, among uh, ceramics, um, uh, we know, uh, we, uh, know uh, here uh, wide open uh, bowls and pedestal bowls like this, which are the most common pottery styles, as well as uh, biconical pots of various dimensions or, um, uh, or sizes. Um, um, uh, the, the similar pottery can be also found in Bela Kraina region and also in uh, eastern part uh, of Slovenia, however, with, with some re regional changes, but they all uh, uh, belong to, to, to the vast complex of so-called um, uh, Lengel uh, cultures. Um, around 4,300, a change of pottery uh, production appeared as well, uh, and uh, th thus marking the beginning of the Analytic period in the continental part of Slovenia, with the establishment of numerous settlements of so-called so Lasinia culture, followed by Vezgari, and then, uh, then uh, uh, also uh, the beginning of Badan culture at, um, at the beginning of fourth millennium. Uh, Analytic period in continental part of Slovenia ends with sites uh, which are ascribed as a regional variant of Vuchadol culture known for uh, elaborately ornamented encrusted pottery. So the short overview of both region and evidences regarding the Neolithic material culture shows basically no correspondence. Um, uh, oh, so sorry. Um, 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 this is oh, sorry. Uh, this is the, the um, Bela Kraina region pottery, and also this eastern Slovenia. So you can see it's very similar to this uh, central part uh, along Sava River. Uh, here is the comparison of the six uh, radiocarbon dates, uh, showing that actually in in western part of Slovenia we have this um, um, long um, occupancy from from the middle of sixth millennium while in Slovenia, uh, Central Slovenia, we have the um, early Neolithic, uh, not early, but the, the earliest uh, Neolithic settlements as late as the beginning of the fifth millennium. Uh, so um, a short overview of both region and evidences regarding the Neolithic material culture uh, basically shows no correspondences in their pottery production. An attempt to trace similarity in production techniques, ornamental techniques and motifs, as well as pottery forms across the regions, um, show, has shown years ago that uh, practically um, um, there is a big uh, difference uh, in uh, technological choices in preparations of clay, surface treatment of the pottery, and then ornamental techniques, techniques and motifs, as well as uh, from, um, from the pottery of Western Slovenia and continental part of Slovenia. You can see 
uh, here is the, the graphical distribution. Nevertheless, if we take into consideration all the data related to the late Neolithic material culture uh, discovered at the sites in both regions, we can trace only some spe specific items that are linked links uh, that links be both regions. One of the items is so-called Hwar ball. These are, sorry, this is, these are the Hwar balls. Um, um, named after the, lo the location of their uh, first discovery. Um, these simple shallow uh, all oval shaped balls with short thickened averted rims are quite common in late Neolithic sites along the Adriatic coast, but very rare uh, in its hinterland. They are specifically formed and dis um, distributed only within the limited area, which is why we cannot consider them as simply as uh, items of late Neolithic era, but rather uh, culturally specific items of specific cultural milieu. Uh, in Western Slovenia, so-called hard balls are discovered at Cermin and Kaštelir, while in continental part uh, of Slovenia, we found these balls in Movernavas and at uh, uh, Resniko Prekop. And altogether, not too many pieces uh, have been found. Uh, their resemblance is uh, undisputable. Another evidence connected with uh, Western Slovenia um, ceramography can be found at Chate Srednopolje here. Um, and this is a um, uh, spherically shaped um, cup decorated with incisized triangles, uh, which has no analog analogies within later Neolithic sites, either in continental Slovenia or or its um, um, vicinity, uh, but it has very good um, uh, analogies with the material uh, culture of, uh, in Western um, Slovenia. Uh, given the fact that within Neolithic period, we have so little material evidence that connect both region in consideration, uh, it is more appropriate to take into consideration the possibility that specific items rather represent evidence of mobility that being interpreted as a cultural inferences as stated by many authors throughout history of research. As it seems, the neolithization process of both regions advanced independently in different time spans in Western Slovenia, uh, in middle Neolithic around 5600 BC, in continental Slovenia in late Neolithic at the beginning of the fifth millennium BC. Influences that help uh, information processes of these first Neolithic communities came from different regions. Western Slovenia was, was part of the Neolithization process of Adriatic Basin, while in continental part of Slovenia, it seems that Sava River was the main route of Neolithization process coming from the Pannonian Plain uh, in the south from Croatia. Routes connecting west and east so typical for later period in Slovenian prehistory and history, as it seems, didn't function as well in the Neolithic era. Uh, this observation uh, is quite surprising and unexpected also because it is uh, quite the opposite from the widespread mobility processes documented between Eastern Adriatic coast uh, and hin its hinterland further south uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, for example, and Croatia from the early Neolithic onwards. Um, data on Neolithic material culture from Western Slovenian, Slovenia and its interpretation are very uh, limited are, uh, and are also, there are also no, no radiocarbon dates um, for stratified contexts. Um, as for example, Podmolnir Castellets, where several layers uh, have been connected with analytic settlements prior to the layer with pottery related to the regional uh, variant of Uchidol culture. Uh, ceramic finds from this layer shows partial similarities, similarities with pottery unearthed in different uh, early and middle Neolithic uh, sites in continental and eastern Slovenia, such as Hočeverica, Tonistia, etc. However, similarities in both regions manifest in technological aspects of the pottery ornamental styles, styles as well as the pottery shapes. Although uh, these analogies in material culture are, are evident, uh, much more frequent uh, and much more frequent in analytic context in both regions, it is still hard to build any evidence-based argument for the connection of both regions due to the lack of solid contextual evidence uh, and uh, radio chron uh, radiocarbon chronology. So this will, be, this will be the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm free to uh, answer any questions. Thank you.